up is our segment we call our best thing of the week. Each week it's happening out, celebrates great things in our community. And best thing of the week is sponsored by Israel's national airline, El Al. El Al was born in 1948 with the state of Israel and is an expression of national existence and pride. And this pride is self-evident in South Florida. El Al features nonstop service from Miami to one of the world's great LGBTQ plus destinations. That's Israel. And this fall, El Al will connect the two LGBTQ plus capitals, Tel Aviv and Fort Lauderdale, Whoa. with seasonal service and next spring adding extensive flights. And that's why El Al sponsors the best thing of the week. Oh, wow. So, and this is definitely the best thing of the week. Yes, I think this is the yes. best thing that I've seen all month. And it's Pride Month, so I've seen a lot of amazing things this month. But watch this, okay? I mean, not watch this. Listen to this. At the, okay, at the Sunday service <laughs> on June 18th, our favorite queer church of Florida, Sunshine Cathedral, invited a special drag queen guest, who is also one of the hosts of It's Happening Out, our favorite uh -oh. auntie meme. The church celebrated Pride Month by conducting a book read, and the book chosen for this was A Naked Civil Servant by Quentin Crisp, a comical and poignant memoir of a gay man living life as he pleased in, the 19, in 1930. Crisp identified as gay throughout his life. However, at the age of 90, shortly before dying, accepted that they were transgender. Hi. I just want to say thank you for welcoming me here in your home. I, this is so beautiful. Um, some of you may have seen me when I did stand up here a few months ago. So this is a very different experience. <laughs> but I just want to say a couple of words real quick. So uh, that blessing meant so much to me. Um, as, as the reverends know, I do stand up all over South Florida and not just for queer populations. I do it in front of everyone. So. Uh, I go out each day and try to represent us to our best abilities to people who may not understand us and may not even like us sometimes, but that's not my concern. My concern is to, to bring a light into their world. So coming here today and watching what you're doing here and bringing a light to so many other people, it just means so, so very much. So thank you all for having me here. Thank you. So for today's first reading, we're going to do the wisdom of a naked civil servant. So Quentin Crisp, uh, known for both wit and style, worked briefly as a rent boy f and for decades as a nude model for art colleges. Oop, there. I'll just read it down here, guys. It's not working. For me. Okay, there we go. Quentin wrote articles, plays, and books, including The Naked Civil Servant, Becoming a Virgin, and Resident Alien. Quentin Chris played Elizabeth I in the film Orlando and appeared in well over a dozen films. Chris performed on stage with Penny Arcade and starred in a solo show for many years in the UK and the US. At 72, Quentin moved from the UK to the US and resided in New York City for 18 years. Quentin identified throughout their life as gay but at age 90, shortly before dying, accepted and shared that they were transgender. In a Q&A session of a show in LA, Quentin shared this profound theology. Quote, if God is the unifying factor, if God is the cell within the cell, the universe that encompasses the universe, then I would accept prayer and I would accept the idea of God. Don't forget, almost all religions move toward the unifying factor, the God behind the God, the God of gods. In these human words, God's voice is heard. Thanks be to God. Please rise as you are able. Oh, this is amazing. Beta, yes. are you yes. proud? Yes. Beta. Beta. Oh my God, Beta. round of applause. Why are you oh. messing up my shit? Oh, sorry. Beta. Are you, are you like proud? I mean, you must, I see you, you're gushing right now. I am too. Like how incredible is your child? Your child is incredible. And you know why they're incredible? Because of you, because of your support, because of your love. Yeah. God only knows what I could have done if my mother hugged me. Damn. <laughs> and you think I'm lying. That's the, that's the worst part about yeah. it. So the best thing of the week, uh, by far, Sunshine Cathedral celebrated pride with a very special drag queen guest. Our own Auntie Mame. What do you think? Yay! I can't talk because you smacked me in the mouth. I can't even talk right now because you smacked me right in the mouth. I said, apologize. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop right. fighting. Sorry. <laughs> like brother and black, sister. Black on black crime. Right, always. as we do always. <laughs> but Mame, round of applause. Yeah. That was so freaking awesome. And and what you 
besides what you, and I would love for you to share the history about that individual, but what you reminded me of, some of us who grew up in, in church didn't always hear the doctrination of we were ugly, we were horrible. It, we had hope. So some of the, the teaching, if you get the right minister, there was some hope there. And so listening to that reading reminded me that, you know, regardless of the strife, regardless of what the craziness that happens in the world, regardless of what, what ha the world puts in front of you, there is hope yeah. that I can, I can overcome this. I can, I can move forward from this. And, and you being there, I was like, look at my little sibling doing her little thing. All right, right then, girl, go ahead. I see you, right. baby. But go. But, and so we, I need to give a special shout out right now to Robert and Durrell. Oh, Durrell, 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 and, yes. and, and I love you, girl. You know, you're my favorite, favorite lesbian pastor, whatever it is that you are. <laughs> because that used to scare me. Like when I would see like yes. a woman in like, it, it, it just scared me. It's just that indoctrination of being, wow. you know, yes. grown up being told that you're an abomination and all that. And yes. Anne was the one who helped me kind of like work through that. And I'm yes. still not worked through it. You know, church is a very scary place for queer folk. It, it just time. is. It but is. We want religion. We just don't know where to find it. So when it comes to folks like Robert and Darrell and Anne and the whole entire mm -hmm. crew of Sunshine, they're like, we've got a responsibility as yes. the queer church here to make this happen. And they do. Then they bring you in to do this like how incredible like it talk really, to us about it so i have to tell you it's a very funny day so um i did black market the night before this girl so i got <laughs> home about three in the morning <laughs> and church, uh, church service is a little I, early i had to be there at 10 20. That, that was my 20s that was all my 20s oh that's that's, that's easy that's that's you only walk. went for one service well yeah I was really, like that was, that was my 20s i'm 43 y'all it's not like the same for me and no, i feel you you know it was really interesting because um when i at when they asked me to do it uh I felt really honored, but I also felt a lot of other things. And so I, I'll let you all know this. So my brother, who's also gay, um, in the last couple of years, he, he discovered a queer church, a queer friendly church uh, in Durham, North Carolina. Nice. And oh, wow. it has changed his life. Mm -hmm. It really has. It is, he, is, he is doing more volunteering in the world. He is doing, they do so much for people. And, and when I saw this, like we're, my family, without like giving too much. My family has always been very deep in religion, mm -hmm. just very deep. Like my mother is a very religious person. You know, we just, this past week actually, they just had the Sunday school that she was the organizer for. She did the vacation Bible school and all, all of these things. So that's been my whole life. Mm -hmm. And for a, a long time in my life, um, religion has just felt very much like a weapon, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, a lot of times, like, I know my mother has always loved me, but, you know, the churches that she's been a part of in the past, like, they have not always loved me. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she has herself said, I don't really care. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't care what, you know, this minister is saying or this, like, I love you. Mm -hmm. And so when they asked me to do this, I really thought of my mother. I thought of, of my brother. I thought of the church that he's a part of. I thought of my which you all may get to meet him. I thought of my um, my little <laughs> adopted brother, um, Rob Lee, who is basically a, uh, he's a minister now, and he's straight, he's cis, he has a wife and two kids, and has been a, a preacher at different churches that are queer friendly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is something that, I know that religion is not for everyone. I know that. And I know that for a lot of people, it is a very difficult subject, yeah. but this church, you know, the Sunshine Cathedral, it is someplace that if you have ever in your life felt like the only thing keeping you from church and God and spirituality and all of those things, if the only thing that's keeping you from that is the people that are involved. Mm -hmm. That's why I did this mm -hmm. because I want those people to see me. I want those people to see me doing this. I want them to see them inviting me to this. And, and it was part of a much larger presentation. It was like, I was just one piece of it. Uh, they did a blessing of the saints and their saints in, in, included, you know, like Marsha P. Johnson, uh, Rainyard Buston. Like mm -hmm. it was not just a, a, a one thing, mm -hmm. you know, they really talked about the fact that, you know, God or, or the spirit of God is in so many people. And I think that, you know, just like when I with Faye, like, you know, we were in the, the parade for the uh, Miami Beach Pride, right? People have to think of this as if you feel pulled to that world, if you feel pulled towards spirituality and, and religion, there are places for you now, yeah. right? Like, uh, you know, North Carolina is a long way from South Florida, yeah. right? But there are places for you. 
Um, you just have to look for them. But they, they do exist. But they, like, you know, yeah. Miami Beach Pride, I was blessed enough to have Auntie Mame on the float with me with Unity on the Bay, which is the my, the my queer church that I go ball. to in Miami. We had a blast. Do you know that the next Sunday there were at least six to eight people that came that said that they didn't know that there was a yes. church that welcomed LGBTQ plus in Miami and that they saw you, you know, and they saw themselves and we're it like, okay, cool. Difference. I can yeah. go there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I think that's what I take from this. Like, I grew up religious. I've been baptized and confirmed and my dad's a santero and I was a ghost hunter. Like, I've really tried to, I'm not even kidding. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, What's I've, happening? I've tried to seek that side of it. I tried to get answers as oh, wow. to whether religion is real, whether spirits are real, yeah. whether the other side is real, whether God is real. I've really tried. At one point, I had to say to myself, because I just didn't feel like I was accepted. Yeah. At one point, I had to say to myself, where is my church? Mm -hmm. And this is my church, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. Doing good is my church. Yeah. Hanging yeah. out with people that do well. And you, you know, accepting to, to do this just feels like a beacon of hope, right? It doesn't, mm -hmm. it's not that I need to do what you're doing, yeah. but I fucking love it because I know the message it sends out. And it's for boys like me who just weren't accepted, but can see that people are still doing great and are being this like light. It's light. Yeah. And that's what I appreciate about this. And so may I also share, I'm sorry, no, that I, I belong to a church, well, not belong, but I had a friend who brought me, my good friend Dwayne, uh, who brought me to a metropolitan church in D.C. Very, very, very queer affirming. An MCC. Very much into, like, the, the whole, the whole tribe was all, you saw queer folks. And what was so amazing about it was queer folks from the club. Yes. Yeah. So, so, we, so, oh, we, yeah. so we would so we would go to watch night service for New Year's. You know, we talked about how watch night service is important, and then we would go to the club, Watch. or or you know, we would just have moments, and that's important because at the end of the day, the the book that all of these folks talk about is just a translation of what they say it is. And so what I was always taught, very much like my mother always said, read it, translate it, digest it for yeah. yourself, right. because what what Reverend blah 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 says as his version of what he was taught and how he how he digested allow it to mean something to you and so what i hope that our listeners get is get from all of this is do the research yeah. know that we do exist know that you know i can take it to the club and say yeah I, a lot of us went to the club and didn't leave the club until five we're home showered and sat in that back pew and may have only done an eight o'clock service to that 12 and then go home and take a nap. But we are there. Yeah. And, and a lot of and us, we be there. and we want to be there because, yeah. because at the end of the day, it's important to us. And what we do is we take what was, what's important from that word. Feed, feed me, feed me the word that I can utilize yes. to get through my week. Yeah. Feed me to, to my soul. Well, I feel my soul has hope. Throw away the other stuff. Take out your objective, your, your subjective opinion. And let's move forward. And what, what Robert Durrell is doing, and, and that, that whole, and Robert is all I'm doing is giving that, that Metropolitan is doing all of that for our community. And we can continue to push that. Yeah. And so these are the, these are the religious places that you need to go to, folks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The people who support us. That's what it is. I'm not pushing religion on everybody. All, Man, no. I curse more than fucking anybody, you know? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I know that we want to get filled and we deserve it just like anybody else. I we get believe in spirituality. Too. We want to be seen. <laughs> what? Oh, no, that sounded something it's okay. a whole different. Earlier conversation. A whole different. No, I don't want to get filled like that. I'm saying I want to get filled. Make sure that you look up uh, St. Yes. Cathedral, hashtag My Queer Church. They're Unity an incredible, the incredible Bay. place. Yes. My Church Unity on the Bay is also fantastic. There are places. There's so many you. places. Yes. All right. I used to sing for them. And with that same breath, Jonathan Casanias needs to get there. All right. <laughs> no, that's not what I <laughs> meant. Come on, come on. He needs to be filled. No, he just needs to be filled. Sorry, that was, oh, that was I meant ended. spiritually uh, filled. I, I got that too. I can fill you with some spirits. Aye. You know those spirits? Ah. We know. <laughs> you, know those, you know those ghosts that you were looking for? He's going to help we you find know. them, all right? We saw the ghosts earlier. He's going to be screaming oh. for them, like just calling He's them out. It's okay. The yeah. <laughs> we are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.